Ah, recording. Okay, so as I mentioned in my return email, I'll do a video on it, on uh, how many people I've seen the, uh, be working on things like that, or what I was doing, and will be doing again. So, okay, for a documentary, cool. Okay, make sure that uh, you contact Griffin Film Productions, Peter Von Puckhammer, and see if you still got... Uh, his, uh, the contract is still valid. I don't know, but you, you don't have to get old video footage. You can get new video footage. I'm going to be doing this stuff again and probably in the winter or after the new year. I don't know. It takes a long time to rebuild. It always has. So, Okay, the questions were, how many people, scientists and agencies and governments, from way back to present. Well, okay, I'll try and answer that. It's going to be difficult. Got a lot of stuff I forgot about. Anyway, early beginnings was probably Dr. Donald Warner. Okay. Oh, lordy, this is going to be hard. Dr. Warner, early chemistry stuff, early electrical stuff that made the news. Vancouver Sun articles, um, I got copies of Vancouver Sun articles, and I don't know, I think the TV stuff was archived. I don't have a copy of it, but it was, did, it was CBC, and I can't remember the journalist at that time. Okay, that was in regards to the UFO thing. Oh, wow, okay, so trying to stick, stay on track on this one. <laughs> So that would be 60s, 70s. Dr. Slichter, Dr. Franklin, Dr. Alice Kramer, RCMP Constable Brookbanks. This is in Riverview, by the way, when I was doing the plasma experiments and burnt myself. I had, um, they were really upset over that, and I had, they gave me eye cups full of boric acid. So those are some witnesses in regards to the early, early, early stuff. Uh, Mrs. Popovich, Mrs. Vorwick, social worker, who else? Oh my God, this is going to be difficult. Anyway, that's some of the early weird stuff I was doing. And the free energy converter. It's not a free energy, it was a power cell I did. That had to have been, well, jeez. 60s. Yeah. Oh, I gotta stay on track of this one. It's difficult. Sorry, but I'll do my best to try and present this. As time progressed, went into various things and adventures and that, of course. Getting into, let's say, 70s uh, is kind of... All I did was basically go scrapyards... Then, of course, the big court case with Pierre Elliott Trudeau is R. Flynn Marr, my lawyer. He, lawyer. he would know all about this stuff, too. He's going to come visiting as well. As Alexander Sharashevsky, he's come visiting as well. But uh, R. Flynn Marr signed the early contracts with Ferris Technology and the U.S. government people and all that stuff. And there was um, Pizarro, Joanne McCluskey was the attorneys. These are names that you can search out, see if they're still around. Uh, some of the first people was CBC, Brent from CBC saw something. He kind of ran out, kind of scared. Then along came Mel Ernest Winfield, who filmed a lot of stuff and wrote up a book on it. Oh, Lordy. Um, who else? Um, Chaos Mod Electrical Machinery. Fred Roche. Uh, Ken Mod. And I can't mind, and I can't remember the other guy's name. I think they're still around. That was they donated a power uh, X-ray transformer to me. That was in the late seventies, early eighties. Mel Winfield and his group wanted me to sign a contract, or they signed something, and George Hathaway would know all about it. He had to deal with that one. There was other people that came along. Oh my goodness. 
Uh, BCIT, uh, British Columbia Institute of Technologies and Standards, did analysis on samples in the early 80s. SAIC came up a group of men, I forget their names now. Uh, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratories, um, uh, almost got the name there too, with all that. SAIC Laboratories. Oh, um, CKVU TV, Channel 8 TV, a lot of news stories, which I've loaded some of them on the internet. Just last night I loaded, uploaded one. There us see, Dr. Andrew Makrowski, a pace net. Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Bearden. For a long time, uh, Colonel John Alexander. U.S. Army Intelligence Security Commander was, um, I think it was Bob Freiberg from Los Alamos in his group. Uh, BCIT, uh, uh, some of the names I can't remember, the army contractor with his levitating thing he had, gave me a hundred dollars for a demonstration, he was very happy with that and wanted to come back around again, that was Brian Bordale, uh, let's see, uh, I'm just trying to roll with what you want, but it's difficult, um, uh, <clears throat> okay, so, Yes, 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 Army Intelligence Security Command. Daniel C. Laflam. <laughs> okay, so continuing on, Daniel C. Laflam. Okay, I'm going to have to jump around a bit. Uh, Dr. Robert Kuntz, that'd be in the 90s and to present time. Dr. Kuntz wrote a letter of recommendation. There was um, Germany too. Dr. Amen of the University of Berlin. There was Dr. P.T. Pappas in Greece, who visited me personally and we had a lot of fun together. Um, let's see. So, Dr. P.T. Pappas, going back, they was what I'm trying to think about here. Dr. Elizabeth Ann Rauscher, Dr. William Rowe, Dr. Steve Scott Rogo, uh, Dr. William Tiller. Uh, let's see, Ooh, well, Dr. Tiller, yeah. He, Ooh, Gordon Novell, he recently passed, only well, passed away some time ago. We worked together on the ARV project, plus a hundred other people. So they, I can't remember all the names of Paul Murad. Uh, ah, it's just um, Paul, Dr. Paul Murad. Murad. Jack Safradi. Oh my God! Like there was a gus. Every every part of the every USA government and Canadian government were kind of involved because all the emails are. Because I can search out FBI, CIA, and all that stuff, or Department. I get all these different contacts. So okay, so let's get back to what I'm trying to say here. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to just go back and forth in time. Ken Shoulders is probably the closest. We worked together on some things and ideas. Dr. Judy Wood, who has a a book out on uh, Twin Towers and all that stuff. She is very brilliant in her metallurgical science. Uh, let's see, we hung out together in 2007 for some months. Huh, we had a good time. Uh, let's see. Oof. Dr. McCroskey. Uh, okay, Canadian government comes to mind now. So we have um, Dr. Harold Wilson, um, Lieutenant Colonel Larson, Deputy Prime Minister Eric Nielsen, who put together a group. 
Dr. Lauren A. Kuhn, Dr. Logan, Locken. Dr. Loken, L-O-K-K-E-N, George Hathaway, of course, is very paramount in all of this. He discovered it, basically. Well, Mel Winfield did, and some others did a long time ago, but George was truly honest with everything he uh, presented and didn't fabricate anything and told the truth on everything. Um, I, I worked with Jack Houck of McDonnell Douglas Aerospace for that particular week, did a couple of days of film shoots. Dr. Thurston Ludwig in Germany. Oh my goodness, uh, Germany, yes. Um, Max Planck Institute, analyzation of the samples. Uh, DESY, a student published a paper. I, or I don't even even publish, I got a rough draft of it. That was done. Uh, Stuttgart group, Roland Brito, guests of Dr. Peter Kokoschnig for a couple of years in uh, Germany, along with Roland and Ian Gazda. Gazda's granddad was an inventor too. Uh, back to Germany, Austria. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Austria, Japan, Hiroshi Amabi, J-O-G-M television. Filmed all the stuff there was about um, uh, prefecture people that had a prefector would come and uh, I got all their business cards. There was a book published about me and Yen. I have never had it translated for Pete's sake. Whole books, as well as Tom Bearden published a book too. It's an obscure name, AIDS, about AIDS, and mentions um, in his book about magnetic monopole samples that he played with. Um, Nick Cook of Jane's Defense Weekly, Boyd Bushman, good friend Boyd Bushman, as well as Nick Cook of Jane's Defense Weekly, uh, Major Peter Gerritsen, recent stuff, uh, then a whole bunch of people from NASA, have all the emails, I met some in person, Dr. Hal Pudoff, Met him a number of times. Who else? Uh, oh, 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 a bunch of people. Wow. I should have took my time and wrote down notes, but I'm not much of a writer. I don't like writing stuff. That's why I'm doing this video as agreed upon because I don't like writing. I think I published some of this in my internet movie database profile thing, as well as on Facebook, too. There's, um, Let me think, let me think. Ruin Brio. Patrick Flanagan and Crystal Gale Flanagan published an article on me along with J.C. Knight of um, Ramsa Group. It's Ramsa Group. Scientist, um got to keep free associating a scientist. Okay. Oh, uh, the guy's from McDonnell Douglas. Oh, God. Dr. Froning. Dr. Froning from Ness. Uh, from McDonnell Douglas. And there was a... Ooh, I should have wrote it down, I think, now. Since, uh... He's... Oh, Lordy. This is not good. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's continue God. I already mentioned Dr. Rauscher, Kent Holder. Who else? And many others, too. It's just, I got a flashback in my head about it. You know, it's just, wow. I'll go by country then. So Germany, we covered down some of that there. Germany, Japan, uh, Japan. Oh, yeah, a Kyoto Institute of Technology. Analyzed my power cell barium titanate driven unit and wrote a report on it. It operates at 18.5 kilohertz. That's Mr. Ojiwawa. So there's a lot of Japanese um, scientists I did meet there. 
Uh, Doctor, yeah, oh, gee, wow. I wonder if he's still around. I still got his email. Center of Disease Control. Now, I forget his name. He's always writing me all the time. But I have all these emails, too. Um, um, um. Think of all the different scientists, but going all the way back to Dr. Werner. Huh. Going well, onward to Bob Greener of Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. He's a scientist along with his entire group. Timmy Ventura, well, he's a host, but a good good host. He's an explorer. He appeared on, uh, he appeared with me, by himself, that is, on Beyond Invention. Griffin Film Productions, so. There are so many other people. Oh, jeez. Daniel Bottomley, Stan Rajek, Rich, uh, um, Thomas Lee Richardson, Tesla's friend who had all the Tesla stuff in his house. Yeah, so he was more of an author than a scientist, so. Wow, out uh, of the group of 1994 and Estet, um, Stanley Steamer Hotel. Picture of us in that on the Hutchison Effect investigation group. That was awesome. I got to meet a lot of scientists there too. And I gave a presentation. I gave many presentations. Oh, let's see. I'm trying to think of the last presentation. True TV, I guess. There have been other, others that come and go, you know, different people. Know. But I'm just going to ramble on and have something like come to my head again. Watch Alamos and Canadian government do well. Patrick Flanagan. Probably forgetting some of the most important ones, too. They're all important. Everybody's important. Also, what else? I did mention Brian Boradale, who brought the uh, military contractors around. I didn't ask for that. He just thought it'd be interesting if they came around. There was a um, Wesley Baker brought Wesley Baker brought somebody in. He appears on Beyond Invention too. I worked, yeah, I worked with uh, Mr. Wasser from Switzerland for a short time. <coughs> Richard um, from Tar Sands Canada Project. I worked with him for some months, maybe a year. Uh, and another Richard, Richard Reed of CBC. Uh, let's see, Richard, Richard Reed, Richard got lost again, see? <laughs> lost! Uh, let's see other scientists that came and went, and many of them. Also, some of the agencies were helpful in releasing information to me. There was Richard Sparks, DTIC, Technical Information Center, Richard Sparks, Dr. Paul, Mer Dr. Paul Duran, DARPA. There's a lot of helpful people. I've all of, I got all the actually got all the documents, letters from all these people, tons of them. There, I still got them in all some of the videos I have too, which I haven't seen in decades or one day, a long time. I sure you forget some of them. But. Oh dear! So, um, Dr. Bo Paul Murat, Dr. Bud Duran, Richard Sparks, uh, Duke, Duke Fullenstein, NASA Group. 
Duke Frelinstein. A lot of NASA personnel were always emailing, emailing me. I still don't have the emails. They're phoning me. I met some of them down in um, San Francisco. And I met uh, Prince Alfred von Liechtenstein, who was with Henry Dakin and his group, Neotic Science Group, 3220 Sacramento Street, where I stayed once in a while. Uh, in the background is uh, Prince Hans Adam II Liechtenstein, many letters, maybe 50 letters and cards and things. Time moves on, things change. There's new stuff arriving and new things dying off and going away. It's quite interesting. Uh, I don't know, I'm forgetting some of the great ones, but I'm sorry about that. It's just, it's, I should have spent a day writing this stuff down, so it could be a bit more accurate. Uh, and you search out their names and see if they're still about. Now somebody from Lawrence Livermore Laboratories. I'm trying to remember the guy's name now. There was um Colonel For some reason he wrote me, I don't know why. Ah, it was, uh, he made a lot of news. He was doing some weird stuff. Contra, Iran, or something. Scandal, or some, that's something. I just can't remember everything I'm going on. I'm switching around. My hard drive is working overtime. <laughs> My hard drive's working overtime. Anyway, I act this way, too, by the way. I act funny. At least I think I'm funny, but I don't know. But I, uh... Okay, so some of the stuff's covered. Uh, University of British Columbia group. They didn't want to see a demonstration because they felt what I was doing would burn, hurt myself or burn my eyes out. That was a weird one, though. I was busy at the time listening to the space shuttle on a uh, UHF transceiver system I had. <coughs> anyway, and he comes walking in and Alex Bizarro's with him and the guy puts his hand over his mouth and, or Alex Bizarro puts his hand over his mouth and starts laughing. Because Alex has been with me when we're firing this stuff up. Okay, and uh, in all these scientists, I keep mentioning um, some I stayed with for stayed with me for a month, short visits and long visits too, over the years. Oh lordy, um, Rene Louis Valet of France and Andrea Sakharov of Russia would always write me and suggest things. I didn't meet him in person, but there's a lot of communication we had. First got my computer in, I think about 2000. Yeah. There's a laptop. I progressed along getting in trouble all the time with it. I sure made a lot of interesting contacts, and how they got my emails, I don't know, but they send the emails, like, at the time, I had access to a printer and printed them out. Still got them. Mm. Somebody by the name of Kissinger. Stonich. Mr. Stonich. But I forgot to do this documentary thing, as we mentioned. That, uh, I would have all the papers on it. And other people have some of the papers, too. And there's a hard drive with all the videos and documents and all that on it too, so that would help you out. 
For these days, um, I'm rebuilding the H-Effect lab. Getting darn close. Got some lucky scores from Fair Radio and a scrapyard. That will be coming sometime. A couple of pallets more of stuff, and then I'm going to work on or I'm getting organized slowly, but wow. Not a lot of work, but I'm gonna not gonna be. I never play Secret Squirrel. I'm very open to everybody. And I guess I'll just videotape it, or Discovery Channel will, or somebody will. We already got all the cameras in here, so there's gonna be a lot of activity. Soon, I hope. It's been a while. Been working on this stuff for rebuilds for quite a while. But again, with the Navy ships. How long did it take me to rebuild everything? Oh, it took me a couple of years at least. And the Navy uh, ships stuck with three. And I bought uh, from Fair Radio at the time uh, several tons of stuff. I'm always remember that. Huge shipment. I think, as I remember, Yin was in a truck with me down at Wesley Baker's place in Canada. I think we had to go through customs or something with all that. Pay something off. So that was sort of the beginning, and it went on. Then I went into the Reef Society. I took apart four warships in five years. And that was 93, 94, 95, 95, all the way up to 2000, on and off. But rebuild, yeah, because I gave some demonstrations. But I'm not that excited, you know. My excitement was getting down to the warship again. What did it do? And took stuff off and rebuild it. I'm not in a rush or anything. I didn't. All I had to do for clients was build power cells, and I did. It didn't take me that long to build them. And they would give me hefty chunks of money, like 250000 at a time. It was Japan and the German people and 50,000 sometimes other people. So lots of money and uh, kept my bar end of the bargains with these power cells. But when did that dwindle off? Ooh, kind of dwindled off 2008 maybe. Then I left Canada. 2008, 2009, 2009. Ha! Left Canada 2010. I was not really interested in power cells. So got some equipment ready and going to eliminate radioactivity waste as well as oil waste. And this is all documented, by the way, by other scientists, by the way. I know, I know them very well, too. But if you go to www.slideshare.net, John K. Hutchison, I got all that stuff uploaded there, so you can check it out. Uh, Dr. Newman? Naaman? Naaman? Dr. Naaman, yeah. All his reports are there, along with uh, Steve Coburn's reports on the transportation of the materials. So all that's there on that website. But I've probably left out uh, half of the people I know over the years. It's kind of sad. Deep Mark Frenzel, Germany. Hmm. Trying to free associate it out. Oh, wow. So I lived in Munich, Vienna, Salzburg, Hendorf, and Wallersee. How long have I been doing this for? This is pretty boring for you. Maybe if it's any good, let me know. And I can redo it. Can I see how many minutes it is. I don't know. They kill everybody listening to this crap. But anyway. There was another group that wanted to do a documentary. with was um, a French guy, Canadian, some months ago. Latham, Philip Latham or something. He contacted the other producer I know, Paul Stavikowski, who we did... Um, Somewhere Out There, which is a feature film, 2007, it's uh, going to air. But this Philip Latham, 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 
wanted to come here and videotape, but it was the wrong time to come and videotape. And he said he was contacting um, Paul to get footage. I don't know. I don't know how that's going on. And it's supposed to be in September that this was would be ready for TV or whatever it's supposed to be ready for. But people say things and they never follow through, you know. But Philip was <coughs> willing to give me seven thousand dollars. I'm told whether that's real or not. I don't know. People say things that are turn out most of the time to be just fantasy, but. I don't know if it's documentary, it's going to be okay or not. I have no idea. I think the last stuff I did was with um, True TV with, uh, 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 I call it Death Ray. It was, um, what's his name? Anyway, <laughs> Jesse Ventura. He was fun to work with, and Renee Barnett, who organized it. Hi, Renee. Hope you're well. Okay, it was a fun time working on Ark of the Covenant Reveal. Check that one out. That's when I did a co-producer of it. A lot of fun doing that one. It was an hour-long thing for Discovery Channel. It's getting more popular these days, so... Check it out! Jolly in the belly. Now it's time to actually or just go and have a cigarette or something. Wow, long-winded story. Uh, uh, uh. That, yeah, that's some of the stuff. So you want to see, oh, there's lots to film if you're into machinery or cannons and artillery. Navy ship stuff or the Hudson Effect stuff, which is getting rebuilt here. This section over there. I will definitely let Peter Gerritsen and Timmy Ventura know about this stuff. I'll film it. I want everybody to know I just upload. I don't, I don't know if it <coughs> I don't know if it's that important anymore because a lot of science is going on and antimatter studies and high energy physics and cold fusion and I have no idea if this funny thing is uh, that interesting anymore. I don't know. For me, it's really not that interesting. I'm kind of obligated to do it. I'd like to do... My biggest thing would be to try and distort a microsecond of time backwards or forwards and see what happens. I think it's possible because Dr... Mate, 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 doing it with laser. Whether he succeeded, I don't know. Well, I think I have an idea of a rotating magnetic field along with an electrostatic field and an RF field and a DC field that go at the speed of light. Should something should bounce? I don't see why not. Already, certain things have happened in isolation stuff I've done here. Certain time distortions and weird things happening and things appearing and disappearing. After all, I mean, this section of uh, the North America is where the redwoods grow and the ravens hang out, so it's got to be a magical place. Hmm. Must be. The people are a little different here, too. You know, like quite friendly, helpful. Well, anyway, I had an address book with all the scientists' names, phone numbers, and email addresses as well. That's somewhere laying around. Covered all the different scientists. Uh, Sandy, New Zealand. Sandy. Yeah, that was different. That's a whole different group. New Zealand, right? Folly, Sandra Folly. Hmm. 
That was early 80s, too. Oh, Gaddison family. Carol Gaddison wanted me to work together with the, what they call the Prez, who was a stock market president or something. But she's on it. She just slowly ventured. She was wife of <coughs> Gaddison Machinery, Scrapyard, Alexander Street in Canada. An old house. It was a scrapyard, and that long torn down, I guess. Because Phil Gaddison passed away, and Freddie passed away. Jesus, wow. I love Freddie. He was a character. He was a little guy, a little old man. He was crossword puzzles. Because no people would ever come around to the scrapyard. It was just kind of a, a place that time sort of stuck. But I got a lot of good stuff from Phil, who was very happy to give me this stuff. Whether I have some here, I have to take a hard look. But um, there's some items going way back in time here. But yeah, it was interesting. Uh, let's see, other people have had in expressed interest as um, Berkeley Bedell, ex congressman, showed up at my place one day, and then there was uh, Dennis Kucinich, who showed up at my place one time. And I got letters from them and all that, and email addresses. They even got a sample. <laughs> uh, wildlife, I suppose, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't mind, it doesn't bother me any. TV shows, 300. Then about a thousand interviews, radio interviews. I haven't done anything recently. You know, the, the old has been, the old has been. And I call you fade away. Time grabs you and you fade away. You've had my glory days, now fading away. <laughs> An old has been. That's probably quite true, you know. Reality is a bitch, but it's okay. That's why I keep telling my um, conspiracy theory friends try to get them to visualize reality, but they don't want to. They say, oh, it's a this and that or whatever, you know, mostly directed energy or the government got you or the LSD got you or something, you know, it's all kind of funny stuff. Anything to avoid reality. <sighs> Same with the reality of 9-11, you know. Jeez, talk about it. I, I guess it's too hard on them. The truth can be obscured by people that have another agenda in their head and convince many other people that it was thermite. Very wrong thing to do in not honoring the deaths of all those souls. But anyway, I'm off topic again, so coming back around. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. So many different people. Don Monroe, Don Don Films of X Files. He took us out for dinner. Who was I with at the time? Don Monroe. I met a lot of X Files people too, and Skelly's stunt double, Caroline Allard. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I met a lot of. How do you say it? Public figures. I'll call it that, I suppose. Seem to be okay people. I mean, what the hell? Dennis Weaver awarded me a, an award for original presentation in Denver, Colorado. Still got the award. 1994. Wow. I met Dennis a few times. Along with Kirk R. Thatcher of Star Trek and stayed at his house for a couple of weeks. He and Ian went to, out in Hollywood to work on a pro 
different projects. I just stayed at uh, Kirk's place taking care of the three big pairs. Valentino. Cosmo. I forget the last one. And I hang out in the jacuzzi eating oranges that came up, dropped off the orange tree. I met Kirk R. Thatcher in Denver at the conference. Kept asking questions and he said, if you ever run out of here's my card, give me a call, we'll hang out for a while. So I, we did. So, Yakety Yak, and then another character was Steven Seagal. His Mandeville Canyon home house. Oddly, another friend of mine, David, knows Steven quite well. He sells him firearms a long time ago. But anyway, Steven moved off to. Actually, Stephen was here in Willits. He lived here in Willits. And then he went off to Russia. But I'm going on and 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 on too much. It's like a raving lunatic. Well, uh, other good news is I got some of my shelving done. I'll finish off tomorrow and then clean up. Tomorrow's Tuesday already, so today I was playing a little bit with EVO. I was cutting wood to size and scrap wood I find laying around. You just look around and pull out the nails. And actually, it's very darn good wood, some of that rough looking stuff. So I cut all that to size, built this <coughs> sort of a cabinet behind the milling machine. So I could put more stuff on it. Everything's stuffy. I gotta turn the lights off in there. So I love doing that, you know. It's a challenge of building things strong. Like, that's what I like doing. Uh, if I think of anything else, I try and I'm not. If you want me to be more precise, I can try and write down. Simply remember and not being pressed into a time slot like this video is and press into a time slot. My own doing, of course. Should have my things all lined up to do, you know. Oh, well. So I should get going. I mean, I think it's been barely around five now. 42 minutes of this nonsensical gibberish. These things take a while to upload, but anyway. I'm going to go. It's going to be late, I think. Okay.